Hi friends, today I got something exciting to show you. Um, some of you may already know that Reaper doesn't really come with a drum rack, which is kind of convenient. I mean, it does come with rear samplematic, which is the way to load samples and you can kind of create a drum rack with this. However, it's not as convenient as the Ableton one, which is so nice. Having something like this is so nice. Luckily, some people, some wonderful people have created a script that works pretty similar to this. And I wanted to showcase that for you today. Let me show you the first one. So I'm going to create a track called Drums. And I'm going to load this script called RS5K Manager. This is made by MPL and it's such a wonderful script. I use it a lot and it works super well. Um, it works very intuitively. So I'm going to load a couple of samples to give you the idea how it works. So I'm going to find a kick and click and drag it into any of these pads. And let's get another one, a snare right in here, for example. So as you can see, it created a folder around this track with a MIDI bus and a track for each of these samples. So all uh, these samples are going to go through each of these tracks and you can apply effects and anything you want into these tracks. Like it's already set up for multi out, so you don't have to do any routing. It will do it automatically. And when you create the MIDI item and open it, you will see the name of the sample right here, which is very convenient. So you already know where each of the samples are located and you can start writing from your MIDI bus track. This works super well because you have a whole interface to work with in here and you can adjust things like the tuning, the star, the end and, and all of the things you would normally find in real samplematic, you will have it all condensing here. And when you select any sample, it will switch to that and you can start tweaking in here. And you can open the fats chain for that and preview sample, net sample, random sample. So yeah, this interface has a lot of features. Like there's so many screens in here and it works so well. I have used it for a long time and yes, I can super recommend using this. But now there's this other script that it is also very, very interesting. And uh, let me show you how it works. So I'm going to close this one and create a new track. Call it drums. This other script is called Rhea Drum. It's in early stages, but what it's doing is so interesting. I uh, wanted to show you. So let's run this and it's pretty similar to what we just saw with RS5K manager. Uh, but this time is way more minimal, um, which is really good. And you will see how it works. So let's load a few samples in here. So you need to select the track and it's going to pretty much do it per track. So if you have this track selected, um, you will have your samples in here. And let's drag two samples, a kick and a snare in here, E5 and F5. So you will notice that as I drag samples into this, it's not creating any new tracks or any new plugins in here. There's just one plugin called Read Drum Machine. And that's the beauty of this. It's all, all, all it's doing. If we open the FX chain of this track, you will see that it's pretty much a bunch of containers, a bunch of parallel containers for each of the pads. And in each of them, you can process each sample differently. So it makes you able to have a bunch of different samples, but also process them, all of them in individually with any effects that you want, all from just one track. And just like the other one, when you open the MIDI editor, you will see all of your samples in here, which is very easy to locate and start writing your drums. And if you want to hear it from here, you will notice there's no sound. You need to choose uh, all MIDI inputs in here and record arm your track and you should be able to hear your sample. Now, if you want to process um, your sample individually, all you need to do is click any of the sample and start adding your effects in here. So for example, I'm going to add Saturn to my kick. Saturn 2, I'm going to make it really exaggerated so we can hear it. So you will see it's now saturated, which is so, so nice. So yeah, you can do all of your processing in just one track. Just open the fetch chain 
and let's do some delay on this one. Rear delay, maybe, so it's more noticeable. Okay, so I got a saturated kick and a snare with delay. Wait, that's not a snare. Let's load this snare in here. We can replace sample and now, yes. That's super cool. So, yeah, it's gonna run through all of the fats chain there. What if, oh yeah, what if you wanted to adjust the sample itself? You, know, you will click again and search the reassemble matic and you can do your adjustments in here. It's not as nice as the other interface where you have everything available in there, but you can just click on it and adjust it from here. So that also works. And you know what works so well with this script? That's right, paranormal effects. So <laughs> yeah, you can totally process each of the samples individually using paranormal effects router and it's a very comfortable experience. And yeah, you can just keep adding effects in here or maybe duplicate effects into other things. And now that there's a zoom feature in paranormal effects, which makes this script even nicer. Uh, if you haven't heard about paranormal effects, I have a few videos in the description talking about this amazing script. And you can even balance the samples in here using the volume of the containers. So as well as muting and soloing any of the samples from here as well. So that's a very complete solution and very, very comfortable to use. So you have those two solutions. For one side, you have RS5K Manager, which has this nice interface with all of those options. Or you can go for the more minimal route and more straightforward, um, which is this one. Both are great and you can play around with both. And I'll leave in the description instructions on how to install each of these uh, in case you don't know how to install Reapack um, scripts and all that. But yeah, hope that was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.